All right, we are getting ready to record the first three minutes to save a life episode for my YouTube and well podcast. And this is um, season two. So the whole theme of season two is all about saving life, saving ourselves from our traumatic experiences or the things that aren't necessarily traumatic, but just comes up in everyday life. And the way that I'm going to do that is I have a script for my podcast and I also do card readings within them. So I'm going to bring you guys along with that journey and you're going to hear me record and put it together and we're going to go. So... All right, hope y'all are having a fantabulous day. And we are going to get started. Hey healers, welcome back to the Movement of Love. This is season two and the theme for season two is three minutes to save a life. Let's think about that. What can you do or have you ever thought about what you could potentially do in three minutes to save your life, to save someone else's life, or even just to make a connection. Three minutes is a very long time. Think about it. Most of us think about um, speaking for just 60 seconds and that sometimes is difficult, but what could you do with three minutes? So today's episode is about sirens. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, those things, sirens. When you hear sirens, we take cover, warning, or become aware. Tornado sirens, EMS sirens, or fire alarms. They all make us become aware immediately. We know these sirens, but do you know the sirens in your life? The pain, tears, smiles, happiness, the internal warning sirens we naturally have. How often do you know, how often do you ignore these warning signs and then become a, a part of a downward spiral? These sirens can look like hurt, self-sabotage, toxic relationships, toxic friendships, or even just a good feeling that you may have. The consequences you make by ignoring your sirens, your personal sirens, your internal sirens, is your happiness, your dreams, your freedom, and ultimately your life. What could you create by listening to your sirens? Just like EMS sirens, you could create urgency, awareness, emergency timing (laughs) or record timing, direct access, intensity, and even more possibilities. Because when those sirens are going off and off and off and you are seeking an immediate response or immediate reaction, you're able to create and manifest powerful things right there in that moment. Instead of silencing the alarms that are going off in your life, it's time to deal with them. This is a time to take to take action. It's not a time to take cover. It's not a time to hide. It's not a time to run away. When sirens are going off, they are warnings to you. They are telling you something that you must do immediately. Think about a fire alarm in your house. When it goes off, the first thing you look up is see it. It's going off. It's blinking. It's flashing. You need to get up. You need to get your valuables. You need to get out. That's immediate thought. Same thing with your internal sirens. When they are going off, it's an immediate action that needs to be required or needs to happen immediately. Remember, when you are learning how to engage the sirens that are going off in your life, it's a practice. It becomes a routine the more you practice. So I have a card that I'm going to read. And the card says... A consistent formula gives me consistent results. Like learning to understand the basics of mathematics and then having the successful experience of understanding the result of their applications, once you have a formula for understanding your world that is always consistent, it would yield the consistent results to you. Once you understand your personal sirens, you are able and you are able to understand why they are sounding off. So my questions for you are, what are your sirens? Why are they sounding off? And are you ready to to dive in deeply to save your life? I am Joshua Phillips. I am your empowerment warrior. I am dedicated to healing the world through love and light. So peace, love, and happiness to all of you out there. Remember to shine your best light and share love always. Thank you for spending three minutes with me today.
All right, and that is it for episode one of season two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go edit that stuff, and then, bam, we're going to post it. This video will be on YouTube. The audio will be on podcasts, on all, all the podcast streaming apps and all that stuff, and all the links will be in the comments below. So peace, love, and happiness. Bye, y'all.